Hey everybody, this is Kate with your Wednesday Devo. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying reading through Isaiah with us as a church going through Bible 2020. I just wanted to share some thoughts on a couple verses that I have been reading recently. Um, Isaiah 26.3, it says, You will keep in perfect and constant peace the one whose mind is steadfast, committed, and focused on you. So that's from the Amplified Version. Um, so it seems like... 2020, uh, there's just, there's more and more that's going on, shocking things. Uh, it seems like every week there's something new that we find out. Um, and as I was reading this verse, you'll keep in perfect and constant peace the person whose mind is focused on you. Thinking, you know, what does perfect peace in 2020 look like? Um, so I think the best kind of way to gauge that is when we encounter... It, the next rough thing in our lives, um, you know, the next diagnosis or the next news from the family um, that's not what we expect. You know, what what's your knee-jerk reaction? Um, when I was a kid, whenever my mom would take me to the doctor, afterwards she'd say, all right, let's go get a treat. Let's go get some ice cream or something because that always seemed to make me feel better if there was something wrong. Um, so that was always like, my knee-jerk thing was like, Let's get some food. Let's get a latte. Let's feel better with that. Um, but yeah, w what is your knee-jerk reaction when something happens? Who do you turn to? Um, do you turn to God? Do you talk to Him? Or do you find that you um, are angry or stressed or um, you let your emotions kind of build up inside of you? Um, there have been times when I um, have, have turned to God for things and times when I haven't. And, um, you know, in, in recent years, as I have grown closer and closer to God, I've found that when I do turn to him first, um, and, and it's okay to be angry and, and to talk to God. He wants us to be open with him and to be honest and to lament and be sad with him. When we go to him first, when we put our mind on him, that's when he promises us that perfect peace. Um, uh, I was thinking of another verse, too, that kind of relates to this, Psalm 112, Psalm 112. Um, it says about the person who is righteous, that they're not afraid of bad news. Their heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. And I want to be in that place where when the next bad thing comes, when the next um, shocking news comes, that my heart is firm, trusting in the Lord, that I can have that perfect peace even in the midst of constant chaos. Um, so what is your knee-jerk reaction when something happens? Who do you turn to? Are you turning to the Lord first? Are you going to Him in prayer? Are you spending time alone with Him, talking to Him about your feelings about things? Or are you turning to something else that's not going to sustain you, that's not a solid rock? Um, the verse right after that perfect peace verse, um, Isaiah 26, 4, uh, it talks about how the Lord is an everlasting rock. So what are you leaning on? Is it a solid rock that will give you that perfect peace? So I pray that for all of us, um, that there's going to be more things that happen. More things are going to come. You know, God tells us we can expect trouble in this world. Jesus says that. So what is your rock? What are you standing on? And I pray that it would be Jesus for all of us. So we're praying for you guys. Hope to see you in person on the weekends. Let us know if you need anything. Take care.